Will Russian sixth-generation fighters surprise the world, or will they hide under the covers? The famous Russian brands Sukhoi and MiG, setting aside their eternal competition in the aircraft construction market, are ready to join forces to create a sixth-generation fighter. This was stated by the industrial director of the aviation complex of the state corporation Rostec, Anatoly Serdyukov, and the deputy director of the United Aircraft Corporation UAC, Ilya Tarasenko. This topic is being actively discussed in the Russian and foreign media. Experts argue that the country that first creates a sixth-generation fighter will gain military superiority. Not only Russia has announced its intentions to produce the next-generation fighter, similar developments are also being made in the United States, China, Great Britain, Italy, Sweden, Japan, 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 Germany, Spain, France, and Taiwan. All of these countries have had some success in creating the jet of the future. Moscow tried to build a stealth fighter, but it didn't spend enough to get the job done. The MiG-1.44's tortured birth and still more painful death illustrate the inherent dangers of flagship military hardware development, where decades of expensive RD work frequently amount to nothing. Over the past decade, Russia's foray into fifth-generation jet fighter development has become synonymous with the upcoming Su-57, but the Su-57 was only Russia's second attempt at developing a fifth-generation aircraft preceded by several decades with an altogether different project. This is the story of the ill-fated MiG-1.44. In 1979, the Soviet High Command determined that a new generation of fighter aircraft was needed to ensure the competitiveness of the Soviet Air Force VVS into the 1990s and beyond the timing could not have been more apt. It was only several years later that the U.S. Air Force began researching and developing what would become the highly capable F-22 fighter. The project, which became known as MFI Multifunctional Frontline Fighter, established a set of core design criteria roughly corresponding with the Soviet and early Russian understanding of what makes a fifth-generation fighter supermaneuverability. Super cruise capability sustained supersonic speeds without the use of afterburners, low radar cross-section, integrated avionic systems, and substantially improved landing and takeoff capabilities. The procurement order went to the Soviet aircraft manufacturer Mikoyan in 1983. After prolonged experimentation with several aerodynamic schemes, Mikoyan eventually settled on a duct-like delta wing design to distinguish their fighter from the forward-swept wing schemes of rival aircraft manufacturer Sukhoi. The Mikoyan-Sukhoi rivalry was among the reasons for the MiG-1.44's eventual failure, as Sukhoi continued to insist that their ongoing Su-37 project could deliver a better result at a lower cost. At the end of a tortured research and development process, Mikoyan had cobbled together a VVS-approved prototype blueprint by 1991. The MiG-1.44's final specifications remain shrouded in mystery, as almost all known specifications are from the MFI stage of development. What is known, however, is that the MiG-1.44 was designed to use the AL-41F engine, had a speed of approximately 1,500 kmh, a range of up to 4,500 km, 12 internal and 8 external hardpoints, and was compatible with almost the entire suite of Soviet air-to-air -air missiles, including the R-73 and R-73 and R-77. There is no reliable information about the quality of the MiG-1.44's integrated avionics and stealth capabilities, two of its most crucial design criteria, as with many ambitious Soviet military projects of the 1980s, the Soviet collapse imposed an unacceptable degree of strain on Mikoyan's already tight budget. The newly formed Russian government shelved the MFI program after a brief testing period in 1994, citing cost concerns, and cancelled the program outright in 1997. Not yet ready to admit defeat, Mikoyan managed to produce and test fly a working MiG-1.44 prototype in 2000. The test flight revealed a slew of undisclosed performance deficiencies and engineering problems, leading the Kremlin to put the final nail in the MiG-1.44's coffin. Russia's fifth-generation fighter program had to be relaunched from the ground up with Sukhoi's T-50, now known as the Su-57, resulting in a massive sunk cost of 15 years' worth of research and development. The MiG-1.44's tortured birth and still more painful death illustrate the inherent dangers of flagship military hardware development, where decades of expensive RD work frequently amount to nothing. However, it can also be seen as a story of unrealized potential. Add, the Soviet military industrial complex recommitted to the MFI program at an earlier stage, the MiG-1.44's faults could perhaps have been revealed much sooner or avoided altogether. 
Mark Episcopos is a frequent contributor to the National Interest and serves as a research assistant at the Center for the National Interest. Mark is also a PhD student in history at American University. This article first appeared earlier in 2019.